Hi everyone, it's me Louis and welcome to a new video on Entrepreneur Campfire. In this video, I'll be covering the last section of my tutorial where I teach Malaysian sellers how to set up their own online store on the Easy Store platform. If you haven't seen part 1 to part 5, make sure to check them out in the description below before you get into this tutorial. If you have, then let's get started. So if you followed my tutorials from part 1 to part 5, you would have learned how to set up your products, create a collections page, choose a team, customize it, add a payment gateway, and add shipping methods to your easy store. So in this last video, I'm going to teach you how to tie up all the loose ends and get your store ready for launch. So if you have all the rest of the components ready, um, this will be the final part that you need to configure before you can start launching your store. And that is the menu as well as the legal pages. Okay, so to first to configure the menu, um, again, um, go to the channels and click on online store. Under online store, click on navigations. All right, so here, so here you can see that there are there's a default uh, menu here. So there are a few things that you can do with this menu. The first thing that you can do is add more items to the menu. How you can do that is by clicking on Add Navigation. Okay, so here you can see um, you can choose where to display that item and what kind of uh, item menu item it is. Under Navigation Type, you can choose between links, page, blog, collection, or store locator. So if you have a uh, specific link that you want to display, just click on link and then uh, place the link here all right so if example i want to um i want to link to my website entrepreneurcampfire.com this is where i would do it so if you want to link to um, an external site this is where you can do it okay so but also make sure that the uh, prefix is correct okay and uh, normally i would want to enable um open the new tab if it's an external link okay so here i'm um, say uh blog okay for example save it um sorry maybe i'll say instead of blog because we already have a blog there so ec okay so as you can see once i add uh, add that there and it appears here but as you can see it's still unpublished okay so if you want to publish that okay make sure to just save that there you go it's published okay so what if you want to add uh links from your own store Okay, so go back to um, navigation here. Okay, you can choose um, page, what page you, you want to display, or if you have blogs, you could choose from uh, blogs, or if we have collections, so we have the running shoes collections. Maybe you want to display that in your menu. Mm -hmm. So, go running shoes. Okay, then you save it. Okay, so again, um, when you save it, it's unpublished. So you can just make sure that uh, it is published. Okay. So uh, you can add, uh, continue to add items, and then uh, if if you want to remove items, you can do that as well. Just edit this and then delete the item. Okay. It's very simple and straightforward. So the next thing you can do with this menu is that you can move move things around. Okay. So if you want to move um, the running shoes collections item. A bit further to the left, just move it up. Okay. Okay, so there you go. So it will display further to the left. Okay. So we can um, check it out in the store. Okay, so as you can see here, running shoes uh, go here and then store locator and then EC at the very end. Okay. Okay, so if we want to move the store locator um, further to the right, we can also drag this and then push it down. Okay, there you go. Alright, so let's check it out on the store. Okay, so as you can see, just by dragging and dropping, I'm able to uh, move the menu items around accordingly. Alright, so um, that's it, how you can uh, change, add, delete, move things around. So same goes to these as well. So um, terms and policy footer, these, these are um, way, way down. Okay, so these... Uh, talking about uh, this section okay 
uh, typically uh, we want to keep these okay no problem and then top bar before uh, login okay what's that that, that, that that's um up here okay so i'm logged in so i don't see it um but in case somebody is new to your store doesn't have an account isn't logged in then you know how how would you want the menu items to be displayed that's what it means okay so you can just um select them here okay and you can add more items so if you want to add um more items to your footer you can do that but um you can't add more items to your login um these you can't add more items here you can add more items to main menu terms and policy and quick links footer but not the uh, login stuff okay that's how you can navigate around the uh, menus in easy store so now let's take a look at the legal pages okay so things like this terms and policy uh, sorry terms of service privacy policy refund policy how do you configure that inside easy store okay so these are very important because um they're actually legally required for every e-commerce store okay so to configure those pages um, where you'll find them is under pages okay so under the same tab here online store you want to click on pages you'll see that these pages are already there so terms of service privacy policy refund policy so you just want to edit them according to your own store okay so have a look okay so you find that um, on this page is where you can add your terms of service so if you if you want to you can um, use their sample okay but if not then you can always get your lawyer to draft on for you or find another template for you to edit from okay so this is only a template so there are a lot of information here that you want to read through and then make sure that you edit them accordingly okay all right then uh, same thing goes to, okay so once you are done here just save the page okay then once you are done um go back and then do the same thing um for the rest okay privacy policy again uh, you can always generate a sample here but make sure to edit it or get your lawyer to help all right save that and then okay go back to do the same thing with the refund policy Okay, refund right so you have um, the refund policy sample here okay edit this and then uh, save it okay all right so um, with with that you have all your uh, legal pages set up so you're ready to go in, in uh, for these three okay make sure to edit them before you publish all right so the last page that you need to add is the contact us page so the contact us page is very important for you because um, it is a channel for your customers to write messages to you and it's also actually legally required so in order for you to set up a contact us page just go to apps okay you don't have any apps yet so we need to install them okay so look for the um, contact us contact Okay, so here you have the contact form plus so you want to have uh, check on that click on that and then click on install this app okay just go through the uh, steps Okay, so there were some errors there, but I'm not sure what happened, um, but it seems to have installed already. Alright, so just click on that. Alright, so here you have some information you can configure. The recipient email, so which um, normally this would, this would be connected to your uh, customer service email or a contact email. Okay, so you can just uh, put the email here, What uh, who should receive this. Okay, then you can also um, change the width, um, do, do some styling customizations here as well. Um, yeah, so all of these are just some, some customization information. So if you're happy with that, just save that, okay? Okay, so now that you have um, set up your contact form, um, just go back, to your <clears throat> go back to your store and take a look at how um, this looks.
Okay, so as you can see, the contact us form has been added. Uh, for some reason, it's been added twice. I, I guess that's an error. You should only see it once. Uh, I need to have a look at what happened here. Um, but yeah, so the contact form is enabled. Okay, you don't have to do much else. So here you can, you know, because I didn't configure anything, so you didn't uh, can't see anything. But if you've configured it properly, then yeah, you can have this contact form ready. So that's it on how you can set up your own online store on the Easy Store platform. If you've enjoyed this entire tutorial series, remember to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for your time watching my videos and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye.